Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create and set up a level within Unreal Engine to use with Render Stream with Disguise. So first thing you need to do is download the Render Stream plugin. And I'll link this in the description to the GitHub where you can find all of the versions. Important things to keep in mind is you need to know what version of Unreal Engine you're going to use and which version of Disguise you're going to use, and that will dictate what version of the plugin you need to use. On top of this, you can do this process to pre-existing levels. So if you download a map from the marketplace or someone else has made a map, or you're just adding to an existing map, it's the same process. You're just adding on top of the project. So first things first, we need to create an actor. So all of our cine cameras will live under an actor. So we're just going to create a basic and then actor. I'm going to call this RS actor. There we go. And then I'm going to create three cine cameras. So these are going to do various different things, which I'll talk, talk over one by one. But we'll just make a cine camera and I'll duplicate that twice. Now to get these to be under the actor, I'm just going to drag these there and then the actor is going to turn into essentially a folder. Okay, so now we're going to name the cameras. So first camera, I'm going to go RS main cam. Next one, I'm going to go RS out of frustrum cam. And next one, RS AR cam. Now you can get levels into the skies with just one cine camera. The reason I made three is because we will do different things with these. So the main camera will be what the camera is seeing on our LED stage. The outer thrust will be everything the real world camera can't see on the LED stage. So this will be so we can add the Unreal scene to the whole LED volume. But the reason we also have this separate, separate is so we can move around the outer frustrum independently from the camera frustrum. So if we want the outer frustrum to be a different location within our Unreal scene, we can. And then the final one is our AR camera. So this is if we have any elements within Unreal Engine we want to have as AR. And to stream with an alpha channel, it needs to be a separate camera. So now that we've done this, We'll just go through the cameras and zero out all of the locations. There we go. And now when we want to move our cameras around the scene, we use the actor instead. So in our case, we're still going to zero out. But this is where you'll change your location. So if your map is, you know, 100 meters up in the air or it's, you know, in a different location or you want to go to a different part of your scene, use the actor and leave the camera zeroed out. The same goes for the height. You'll notice I've placed the camera halfway in the ground. This is really important when we're sending tracking data into Unreal Engine from Disguise. We add to the height of the camera. So as an example, your camera in your studio is 150 centimeters off the ground with its tracking system. We're gonna add that height to the camera in Unreal Engine from that tracking data. So if your camera is you know, off the ground, that tracking data that Unreal is going to get from Disguise will be this height plus the height in reality. So that's why we put the camera on ground level. Okay, so what else do we need to do? We've got the render stream plugin on the level. We need to add the render stream component to these cameras. So I'm going to start off hitting the AR camera, hitting add here and typing in render stream. We'll add that. And you can go through the settings in detail. There are some tutorials on the web, on the Disguise website that goes in detail. But in our case, for the AR camera, I want the default visibility of objects within Unreal to be hidden. We can then eye drop certain things as well. So if I wanted to see the floor as an AR layer, I'd just pick it and hit the floor. But we're not doing that today. So I'll leave that as is. Main camera, add, render stream. We don't need to change anything this one. We want that as default. And out of frustrum, we're going to go render. And again, don't need to change anything here. 
so now that we've set up the cameras, we do need to check a couple of other settings within Unreal. So we'll just go to our project settings here. I will just take ourselves down to render stream. So that'll be disguise render stream here. Here there's a few different settings on how you want to load levels within inside disguise. So in our case, we're just gonna go on maps and leave the rest as default. And something else you might wanna do is setting the default maps and modes for your level as well. So this is just what, it, what level it will open up first. So in our case, we've only got one level, which is main. So just make sure you set that on both. Um, and that is it. So this level is ready now to be loaded within Disguise on an LED volume. And there's a link here on the screen now that will take you to a tutorial of how to do the next part.